Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we're here at home and we recently returned from a trip to the middle Florida Keys. So if you've ever found yourself driving down US Highway 1 and wondered what all those roadside attractions are, then you're in the right place. So make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Let's go. All right, like we said, we visited the Florida Keys for my birthday. It was a long, like three and a half, four day trip down. We started uh, doing a little quick stop in Miami where we visited Zoo Miami. So I highly recommend that one. So go check out that video because it's one, I think one of my favorites from the entire trip. Uh, but then we headed on down and visited two of the middle islands and um, had a really good time. As you head south down the Florida Keys, there are basically four main cities. There are Key Largo, mm -hmm. Isla Mirada, Marathon, and then Key West. Yeah. So we've done Key Largo before. A lot of people do Key West. We've done that one as well, mm -hmm. but we've never really spent much time in the middle Florida Keys. So that's right. Isla Mirada and Marathon. Of course, any road trip down the Florida Keys would not be complete without a stop at Robbie's. That's quintessential US Highway 1. So that's where we started our trip. Not a fan. <laughs> if you don't know, Robbie's is a place that's famous for where you can go out on the docks and you can feed the tarpon. Mm -hmm. Of course, we did that. It took us three times at Robbie's over a couple of years yeah, to so, finally be able to do that? Yeah, so we were there uh, right after the uh, right after, you know, the pandemic and then um, <clears throat> didn't have a great experience then, uh, but then went back. The first time we were at Robbie's was the night that we drove down, had dinner, lackluster experience, and then we actually visited Robbie's on the way back because Lewis really wanted to feed the tarpon. And uh, feeding the tarpon, I think in and of itself is the only reason you should, you should stop at, at Robbie's. Skip the meal. Um, skip the other things, but only feed the tarpon if you really can't find anywhere else to do it in the Keys. Yeah, and it's pretty affordable too. Yeah. It's only about five, it's five dollars to gain access and then five dollars per bucket of fish. So yeah. for about ten bucks, really uh, you're, you're probably in there and yeah, that's probably about it. Yeah, and just don't expect a wonderful experience because uh, we just didn't really, yeah. we, we, we have not had a great experience at Robbie's the couple times we have been there. All right. And if you want more information about that, we'll put links to that in the description down below yeah. where we did a full review of everything that we did at Robbie's. So continuing further south, mm -hmm. we stopped in Isla Mirada. This is where we spent our first two nights in the Middle Keys. Yeah. We actually stayed at a place called the Golf View Resort. Mm -hmm. Uh, this place was fantastic, kind of quintessential 1950s style Florida Keys. Yeah. Uh, so a bit kind of old and retro, but mm. I really liked it. I thought it was really quaint. It was mm. right there on the golf. Uh, it had its own boat slip. Mm -hmm. And I thought for what we paid, I thought it was a really great experience and I liked that resort a lot. Yeah, so I think it was less than $200 a night. We had, we had what was essentially an apartment all to ourselves, like a one bedroom, one you know bath sort of kind of vibe, uh, two balconies and a view of the Gulf and as well as a view of the, of the gardens too. So definitely recommend uh, checking out the resort. FYI, we're not paid to say that. That's just strictly our opinions uh, about where we've seen and what we've done. So none of this is sponsored. We were not afforded anything, right, to give you guys this this, um, this video. So there you go. All right. But the staff was really nice and they did, yeah, they they did, did. give you some birthday oh uh, my goodness, yeah. key lime pies. <laughs> they gave me two types of birthday key lime yeah, pie, which I was sweet. here for. So yeah, recommend that place for sure. So we started our day off going to the Midway Cafe, which is exactly the, it's a mile marker 88, I think it's what it is. Uh, and it's halfway between the start of the keys and the end of the keys. So that was really good. Highly mm -hmm. recommend getting some lunch or some brunch breakfast there. Um, it is a little expensive, but as are most things in the Keys, uh, but the food was really good. Yeah, and super popular. A lot of people yeah. really seemed to enjoy this place. It was packed when we were there. The mm -hmm. line was around the block. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I thought the food was really good I, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that was really cute swag too, so I got some of that and I'll put those, those in here. So after that, we found ourselves going to Theater of the Seas. Again, mm -hmm. this is one of those major tourist attractions you'll see as you're heading down US Highway 1. You can't you miss can't it. can't miss it. <laughs> You it, can't miss it. It's got yeah. a massive uh, billboard front, like waterfall, waterfall thing yeah. going on uh -huh. right by the side of the road. It yeah. looks amazing. And honestly, I really enjoyed our time there. So mm -hmm. it's kind of one of these things you walk in and they are basically doing different shows, animal shows throughout the day. Mm -hmm. There's a dolphin show, there's a sea lion show, there's a turtle talk mm -hmm. and par parrots and you know, shark feeding and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. They kind of mm -hmm have a rotation of events so no matter when you show up you just hop into the rotation and once yeah. you once you complete the rotation you leave mm -hmm. uh, each show lasts about 20 to 30 minutes or so mm -hmm. uh, and i thought they were really entertaining the the dolphin tricks were really spectacular mm -hmm. um, these dolphins are really well trained really really well kept uh, and you get to learn some interesting dolphin facts while being entertained at the same time so mm -hmm. i personally really enjoy, enjoyed it 
If you like a very structured type of uh, tour or exhibit or thing to do, this is the thing to do in the keys, right? So you get in, you go through the things, and then you kind of get out, right? Now, of course, you can spend as much time as you want there, and then you have a place to grab some uh, grab some lunch. Um, but once you see all the things, you're not going to go back and probably see anything new. It's just, again, the same show, the same experience, the same choreography, um, uh, you know, as you saw on, 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 the, on the first go around. So, so again, cool thing to hang out and see. Um, it is very like natural vibe, right, in terms of, of what the enclosures look like. So, so yeah, recommend that for uh, for just a couple hour sort of kind of thing. So, and we'll put links to the description where we did full videos of all these topics down below as well. At least all the things to do and where to stay. Mm -hmm. We didn't do full videos on where to eat, but yeah. you're getting that exclusively in this video. Yeah. But later on that evening what would be a trip to the Florida Keys without some beach time? So we decided to go down to the biggest main beach park, state park in the Florida Keys, Bahia Honda State Park. And I can tell you what, that was a beautiful beach. I really liked our time there. It was absolutely gorgeous, quintessential Florida Keys with, you got Flagler's railroad bridge extending off into the distance as well as US Highway 1. Mm -hmm. Beside that, you're kind of swimming in between the two bridges. Yeah. I thought it was actually absolutely spectacular, and we got some amazing views uh, from up on top of the Flagler Bridge as well. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it like a sandy beach. It's probably more of like a muddy beach. Yeah. But I think with that, you have the opportunity to see a lot of really cool wildlife. And we saw sharks. We saw a couple sea turtles whenever we were there. And I uh, recommend getting there before five o'clock because that's when the gift shop closes. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Yeah, it, it, yeah, you're right about this. It wasn't the sandiest beach. It, mm -hmm. There was a lot of seaweed there, yeah, but sea it grass. was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not the greatest to swim in, but beautiful. Yeah, the sunset there was, was pretty cool. Yeah, fantastic. Cool. Yeah. So the next day we got up early and we hit up the Dolphin Research Center, which is there in Isla Mirada. Mm -hmm. So this place was really cool as well. So here they do a lot of dolphin rehabilitation as well as they publish some studies on different things that they've learned about, you know, dolphins and husbandry and, and uh, animal cooperation, mm -hmm. these sorts of things. And it was really neat. Uh, while you're there, you can also elect for some extra uh, add-ons such as swimming with the dolphins, mm -hmm. painting with the dolphins, that dolphin trainer for a day, that sort of thing. This was a little, this was a little bit more affordable than Theater of the Seas, not much, mm -hmm. about $5 less per ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, and I personally, I think I liked Theater of the Seas a little bit better because I thought it was the choreography with Theater of the Seas was, was more high end mm -hmm. versus this was definitely more of like a research kind of facility. Mm -hmm. I think I liked Dolphin Research Center a little bit more because I didn't feel like we constantly had to go be at the next thing, be at the next thing, be at the next thing to be able to see the animals, right? So we spent a lot of time just sitting by the lagoon and watching the dolphins swim back and forth. And they were clicking at Lewis, he was clapping his hands, and it was like a really cool kind of thing that we probably wouldn't have had at Theater of the Seas, um, because I think they keep the dolphins a little bit more um, onto the next thing, onto the next thing, right? Now, you can swim and be a dolphin trainer of the day, I believe, at both locations. Um, I, I personally found that the uh, Dolphin Research Center was a little bit more slower paced, but in my opinion, a little bit more enjoyable because you were able to kind of interact at your level of comfort. So, there you go. Now, the Dolphin Research Center is a nonprofit organization, so if that's something that's near and dear to your heart, something to consider for that as well. All right, and so after the Dolphin Research Center, where we continued with the nonprofit sort of thing, yeah. went on down to Marathon, and that's where we visited the Turtle Hospital. Yeah. So this was pretty neat. These guys do a ton of uh, amazing work as far as rescuing injured sea turtles, injured and sick sea turtles, uh, and they rehabilitate them on site. If, if they're able to, they're, they do releases of them. If they're not, they work with you know, different zoos and organizations throughout the country, throughout the world, mm -hmm. uh, to find these sea turtles permanent homes. And you really get to learn a lot about sea turtles and, and how to care for them, uh, some of the common diseases that affect them, such as bubble butt. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is a real thing. <laughs> which is a real thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, this place was actually pretty neat. And you get to get really close to these sea turtles and mm -hmm. you know, you know, experience them. Uh, while they're you know rehabilitating there, I, I did like this one. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat too. I I think I learned that. Well, so I know I learned a couple of things. Number one, that if you were to call Florida Wildlife and Fisheries, and you are able to help save a turtle, or that you actually get to name that turtle. So be mindful about well about what you choose to name that turtle because it 
follows it the rest of its life, number one. Number two, uh, they spend a lot of time focusing on the, obviously the rehabilitation piece, right? So they gave us some really cool tips and tricks about what to do if you see any sick animals and uh, how to, um, again, just be mindful about how you boat, how you fish to make sure that you're taking care of these guys. Pretty cool. After visiting the turtle hospital, we worked up quite an appetite, so it was time for lunch. Mm -hmm. And here we went and stopped at Burdine's Waterfront Dining. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely more of like a local kind of place because mm -hmm. it's kind of back off of US Highway 1 a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you kind of got to know where you're going. Uh, but I can tell you, it's totally worth it. Yeah. I thought this was some of the best food that we had the entire trip. This mm -hmm. place was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a key lime pie eater. I don't really like key lime pie. I love it. But they had a fried key lime pie there. So good. <laughs> that was really good. Kind of think of it more like a Cinnabon with a little bit of, key, yeah. of, of like a lime. It's kind of, it, it tastes more like a cinnamon roll than anything. Yeah, it was like a piece of key lime pie or maybe just have a key lime pie filling wrapped in like a tortilla and deep fried and then they had like vanilla and, and like cinnamon sugar on top of it. It was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and I had the bacon wrapped shrimp for lunch. That mm -hmm. was also really good. And I really just like the whole atmosphere of the place. It was The dining is all al fresco, mm -hmm. uh, and you're sitting right on the water there. You get to watch the boat traffic kind of come and go as you yeah. eat. It's spectacular, but also really casual. Mm -hmm. So really like this place. Yeah, uh, and fun tip, they don't take American Express. So there you go. But overall, I think out of everything that we ate there, that was probably my favorite after Midwest Cafe. You like Cafe. the fries. Oh yeah, the fries were fantastic. Highly recommend getting the fries. Yeah, they put some sort of special seasoning on there. And they won't tell you what it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know <laughs> it, what was it was so good. Really good, yeah. Yeah, recommend that one. All right, after lunch, it was time to check into our next hotel. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, we stay in Marathon, we stayed at Faro Blanco, mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest hotels mm -hmm. uh, in all the Florida Keys. It's one of the places that you see routinely ranked that people stop and, and go there. It's kind of more of a luxurious hotel. They have two sides of it. One side is Hilton, one side is Courtyard by Marriott. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is all really well appointed and mm -hmm. lots of Instagrammable kind of things. Yeah. Just be on the lookout for they do have uh, they do charge you extra for a resort fee and for parking that mm -hmm. you don't know about until it's almost time to check in. Yeah, so with that we paid twenty extra dollars for parking, and then it was thirty dollars per night per uh, for the, like your resort fee. So with that. There is a marina that you can walk around and check out. Um, there is like a little swimming area. I think if you try hard enough uh, on the courtyard by Marriott side, but there is four pools and uh, like to this point, a very Instagramable sort of place. We did not have a meal there. We actually ordered pizza that night because we were exhausted after four days of back to back to back uh, adventures. But overall, I uh, would recommend it if you're heading on down, if you're, if you're looking for maybe a place to spend your Hilton or your Marriott points. So I think we had a fantastic time, a great way to spend basically three nights in, in, the, Florida, in the middle Florida Keys. Yeah. So much to do there. Mm -hmm. And there's still even more that we didn't experience there. There's plenty more, like there's a lot, of, a lot that has to do with marine life and, and animal dolphins. Animal encounters, yeah. Animal encounters, mm -hmm. yeah. There's plenty more of those. We kind of hit some of the more popular ones, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, tons to do and I really enjoyed our time there yeah. and I look forward to going back and if you ever find yourself on your way to Key West and you just want to get out of the car for a little bit mm -hmm. I don't think you'd go wrong with any of these stops totally. uh, and definitely if you're looking for something to eat stop at Bird Irons that place was amazing fantastic yeah so Bird Irons Waterfront and we'll uh, um, put the address in the description down below for you guys to, to check that place out yeah so thanks for a great birthday weekend babe and I had a really great time and I can't wait to go back now fun fact we will be going back to Key West at the end of September for our next great adventure um, but make sure you guys are subscribing because you definitely don't want to miss it on that uh, we are going to be merging our two passions of travel and jet skiing around Key West we're actually going to be taking a cruise on the brand new Margaritaville at sea Islander. Mm -hmm. So that, that'll be pretty neat and they're going to have a lot of content on that and one of the yeah. stops is in Key West. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because mm -hmm. you don't want to miss out on that content. Yeah, so this will be our second time going to Key West. We spent a week or so back in Key, in, in Key West a couple years ago and we'll link that playlist down below for you guys as well. But overall, really excited. We haven't jet skied in the Keys yet. Um, there's been... Well, we have in the Keys. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. We, have, we haven't jet skied around Key West because there are a lot of rules with that and Lewis can tell you more about that in a different video. But really excited to check out Key West and then hop on over to Cozumel for a day. So that's going to do it for us today, guys. Remember to hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. Bye. We, we, I, I can hardly see myself, but it's fine. I can see us. Okay, well, I'm glad you can. Was this the day that we did breakfast at the... Yeah, it was. Okay. The same choreography. No, it's choreography. Choreography. Yeah. <laughs> the same...